Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for last year, the week of August 17th through the 23rd. We are really just powering through August. Almost done, I think there's one more spread after this. Um, so I'm going to be using a Pocahontas kit this week because I watched Pocahontas 2 for the first time this week. The previous week I watched the first one, but I think that was Shark Week, yeah. So I wanted to use that instead because sharks are my favorite. So this is from BNR Paper Crafts. This is, I think, an older format. I don't think it's... No, I think it is the oldest format that I have purchased. So all of the... Well, most of the other kits I have are in the newer format, but I will be working with the older one today, so it doesn't have everything, so I'm going to be pulling in some extras to go with it. I love this page, though. I always say in my hauls, I love all these boxes. I kind of wish that they all matched more, but I still love the variety that we get, and they all kind of work for me, so I'm going to be doing that. It's a photo kit. I love those, and me and our paper crafts does have a lot of really cool princess overlays, so if you are missing the pop culture overlays um, and like just general foil that previously you might have been able to get from the Sticker Obsession Co. Unfortunately closed right now. Um, the Honor Paper Crafts has brought her like princess foils back to the shop. Um, I haven't really checked out what she's offering recently but I do have some um, of her older ones so these are the Pocahontas ones that I have. We have some full box coat overlays and bottom washi overlays and some deco pieces as well. And I'm just going to be playing in some random gold foil that I have for my collection elsewhere. I'm kind of mixing the metals here. I tried to stick with like just a like classic gold, but I am pulling in some more like coppery gold, I want to say, like for the weekend banner. Um, just because I think it'll look good with the colors of the kit so we're gonna see how that turns out honestly like you've seen me mix models before I do not shy away from it I think it still looks good so we're gonna give this a shot and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put down the base layout and I will see you on the other side for the day by day let's get into it Okay, so let's start off on Monday. I am marking sleeping in. I'm using a big old half box this time because I have a lot of big sleep stickers I'm trying to use, especially this gold foiled sleep in script from Scroll Prince Co. I have a bunch of those I just want to use up because I will not be buying any more larger scripts like that because they're just so hard to use. So I'm trying to move away from that. And I'm using this big Mochi the Cat from Parasol Paper Co. who 
is not sleeping. Again, I said this in my previous videos. I think she's just supposed to be like peeking over some boxes, which she looks like she's doing, which is super cute. But I've been like pretending that her bow behind her is a pillow this whole time. So she's sleeping. <laughs> um, I also had iced coffee that day. So I guess I made it at home. I don't think I worked this day. Um, and I watched, oh yeah, the icon is from Star Prince Co. I watched Legend of Korra. I was almost done with it. I actually think I finished that this week. And I took out the trash. I didn't uh, use my trash day script because, like, I don't think Monday was trash day. Thursday was trash day. This was at my old house. Um, but I, like, made an effort to, like, take out the trashes from my house to the trash bin. So I had to write in, um, take out trash. I watched The Office, script from Letters to Apollo. That is Kevin from um, the show character drawn by Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. I don't know why it took me like a whole sentence to say that. I FaceTimed my best friend Sage, stickers from Moon School Cat Studio, and then I got lots of happy mail. All the happy mail for this week I wrote in the sidebar. I got quite a lot. Um, I got two Rose Color Days orders. Sadie stickers, Wonton on a Million, a Hazel sticker, and then Simply Gilded this week. So uh, there were a couple days where I had a bunch all at once. And I filmed, I think I filmed a haul or a haul part that day. I'm actually about to do that now because I just had a bunch come in. I'm so excited. Um, and then I uploaded a different haul because I was late. I was supposed to do it Sunday, but frequently I'm late and I do it Monday. So that cat is from Sweet of His Paper. And then I also had ice cream that day. I think I had like an ice cream like Ben and Jerry's tub or something, but I'm just using an ice cream cone. And um, then I watched Pocahontas 2, which is why I'm using a Pocahontas kit this week. And that girl is from Pumpkin Paper Co. I realized I did not even talk, like I tend to not talk about what I think about the movies anymore. Like when I'm using a movie themed kit, I like forget to mention what I think of the movies. I usually mention it when I haul the kits. But just briefly, I like Pocahontas a lot. I like the music. Not my not my favorite at all, really. The mu some of the music is not my favorite, but story-wise, princess-wise, I don't really care for it. Um, it's good. It's enjoyable. It's just not my favorite. Um, and the second one was even worse. Disney sequels have like, a curse of being bad, so definitely one of them. So Tuesday, it was $2 Tuesday. I think I bought from letters to Apollo or Sadie stickers because those were like the only two I was doing really at the time and that emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co is marking that I ordered stickers again this was a point where I wish that I had my cheat sheet in front of me so I would know what stickers I actually ordered but who knows I'm sure it'll appear as happy mail in some of the next few spreads um but yeah that script is my own I'm really happy with my scripts I need just to, tran to transfer all of them over to be my scripts um but again, I want to use up all the ones that I spent money on, so I'm going to be trying to do that. Um, I got my Simply Gilded Happy Meal that day, so that's why I'm using the washi, or I think that was Rose Color Days, actually. Um, that's why I'm using this washi sticker from Little Paper Prints to mark that. Watched more Legend of Korra. And then the wildfires um, that day got a lot worse, so that firefighting munchkin is from Once More With Love. And I also answered comments and messages on my videos and on my Instagram that day. Laptop is from School Prince Co. And I worked as a cashier. Not same much kind of from North Love. And I had ice cream again. I think that ice cream sticker is from Magic Prince Co. Who has like my favorite foiled icons but has been closed for a long time. Um, but yeah, I think it just had more like Ben and Jerry's or something. And then I watched Night at the Museum too. Um, I love all of those movies. They're so good. And I'm using a little like a bust of a famous figure from the museum sheet from Papershire, which is appropriate because there are talking busts in those movies. I think it's just so cool how much of that sheet like I can use for Night at the Museum stuff. It's so fun. So going into Wednesday, I slept in. That's a Shine Sticker Studio girl for that. Called my dad, got to use a half box and a bigger sticker from Papershire. Then I had a headache. There's a copy Monsters Co. Moody for that. I binged YouTube. I think that's my first time using that script because I finally ran out of the other YouTube binge scripts. So that's my first YouTube binge script. And again, like, I'm not super pleased with how I write cursive, but that's how I would write it in my planner normally. So at least now it's going to be consistent that way every time. <laughs> and it saves me having to write because I already did write it once. 
so it's still like authentic and that's an emoji from the coffee monsters co binging youtube um i also went to the post office i think to do some more returns and that stamp is from sweet it was paper i don't think i've used that before um and then i read the book i was reading at the time angels and demons read most some more of that i think i finished that this week yes i did um and that little kitty with the books is from paper echoes so i had a smoothie that day i marked as kind of interestingly i used like this little little thing size icon not icon box label whatever um and then i used the uh, flat lay right below that so it looks like i kind of forgot to put an icon there but really it was just because it's referencing the flat lay because i try to avoid using flat lays on their own like i have done it before but i don't prefer it and that flat lay is from paper shower i think it's supposed to be just like juicing as opposed to smoothies necessarily but i don't know i kind of use those types of things interchangeably so i worked as a cashier i used a quarter box so i could use this bigger work sticker from spc and then that is Snowball the Cat from Sweet of His Paper again, who is, um, cashiering. So, Grocery Run, that is also my own script. Love my own scripts like that. All the third box size ones are great. Giant emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. for that. I found that emoji on, like, the shopping sheet. Because I've been trying to go through and separate my sheets out. So that if, like, something on one sheet actually goes in a different category, I will put it in that category so that I will use it. So, grab those grocery shopping emojis that I haven't used before for that reason and I got to use a couple of them in this week um I also ordered more stickers who knows what they were so at first I'm using that after cart munchkin from once more love and then Anastasia did not eat that day so that's an emoji and a snake onesie for that kind of giving a little attitude face which I feel like is her whenever she does not eat so Thursday more legend of Korra icon from magic prince co as well um, I baked granola. I like using these foiled apron stickers. They're like one of the few stickers I like that are colored but then have colored foil on them. Um, I don't remember what the shop is from because I got like most of that sheet in a de-stash, but I don't know. I really like using those. Um, and then I had a stray cat adventure that day, so that cat sticker is from Sweet of His Paper. Um, basically a cat like was outside my balcony and he's meowing. And I, like, went out to pet him, and I left the door open behind me, and he came into my house and, like, tried to hide behind my fridge, and I had to, like, grab him out before he could go and, like, throw him out <laughs> while he was, like, probably trying to scratch me. So that was fun. That's what I get for trying to be nice to cats. <laughs> so that was funny. Um, and then I called my dad, I think twice that day, Munchkin from Once More Love. Had an asthma attack. That's a Van City Stickers girl for that. Took out recycling. This was actually trash day, so that was appropriate. But I don't have, like, a recycling day sticker, so I just wrote take out recycling. I don't remember where the icon is from. I called both my parents instead of just my dad. I was doing a lot of calling that day, it seems. And then I worked as a cashier that evening, or more likely self-checkout attendant, um, emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then uh, I realized I forgot to write in whatever this was for the next icon, but I think it was just anxiety. So, oopsie, the final pictures don't have it, but... <laughs> that's what it is, it's anxiety, um, Munchkin from Once More With Love, and then I filmed a haul, that's Snowball the Cat from Sweet Ava's Paper, and then I edited photos in a plan with me, I hate having to do this layering, but, I don't know, I really wanted to try to shoehorn that edit sticker in, because I don't have a lot of editing stickers, I should just start using more laptops, but, again, I keep these things in different sections, different binders, actually, so, it's kind of hard when pulling stickers to go back and forth, that is my own script, though, for edit photos and plan with me, and I do actually like the way I wrote edit. Like, that's good. And if I can make all my other scripts look that way. But, like, if you look on back on Wednesday where I had the YouTube binge, and then I, in the final pictures, I wrote post office underneath that, and it's, like, kind of in the same style. So, like, it's consistent. Like, that's more important to me than it looking good. So, Thursday evening, I got a ride home after work from my work best friend, Jess. That's both of us in the car. A sticker from Musical Cat Studio. And I had an Apple turnover, which they're so good. My favorite is Apple things. Um, and that's just an emoji with an apple from the Coffee Monsters Co. So, Friday, I worked as a cashier starting in the morning. Um, it's the same munchkin as before, and it was a really busy day at work. So, there's an emoji with a bunch of things raining down on her head for that. And then I got a slice of cake from one of my coworkers, Herminia, or as we all call her, Hermie. So 
I'm using a cake sticker from Happy Dea that was on a sampler. I try to use those up first um, just to make sure that I use them. And then I called my parents again that day. There was a lot of calling this week. And that girl on the phone is from Van City Stickers. I called my grandma as well. Oh my god, I called like everybody ten times. Um, and then that phone is from, I think, what is it, Samantha May Sticks or something like that? I've literally never heard that shop name like since Planner Con when I bought those stickers. It's so funny to me. Um, but yeah, I think that's where that phone is from. And then I read More Angels and Demons. It's another Magic Prince Co. icon. I freaking love her icons. I wish her shop wasn't closed, but I do have a lot of her icons, so. Um, especially in gold and silver, I think. Um, so I took a long nap that day. There's another Mochi the Cat. Ugh, I really hate that I use the same sticker twice, but I think I was just trying to use them up because they are not nap stickers. <laughs> Um, and then I uploaded a plan with me. I also hate this mismatched script, but I mean, at least it kind of fits. Again, this is why I'm going to try to transfer it over to just using my own scripts and foiling them myself. I just bought a whole bunch of foil. It's really exciting. Um, I actually might as well tell you now. So I have gold, silver, and rose gold that I bought when I got my mink. I think it like was thrown in with it. So I have some of that. I tried to get normal hollow and ended up getting just flat out rainbow instead, which is like, I'm not mad because I would need rainbow eventually. Um, and then I place another order for sparkly red, which looks so pretty, and then copper, and then a light rose, which is like light pink, because the rose gold that I have is normal rose gold. Rose gold. I cannot say that phrase, rose gold. I always say it funny each time. Um, and then I got a blue-green hollow, because that was the one that looked closest to hollow in the photo, but when it came, it was like just flat out blue, like light blue hollow, which is cool, and I'll use it with a lot of beach spreads, I think, but... Not, not the regular just silver hollow that I'm looking for. And that has been impossible to find at a cheap price. I think the lowest I've seen that is like 60 bucks. So if, what, when I want to shell out 60 bucks for a roll of foil for my personal use, I will. And then I will have hollow foil. But if you know of any cheaper, just classic silver hollow foil, let me know. Um, so I'm behind now. So did a plan with me. Uh, Instagram post on Friday. Got some more Happy Mail. That's a Crating Co. dog. I love that dog. I will talk more about that shop at the end of the video if I can remember. I ordered more stickers. There's another munchkin for that and another munchkin to mark that I passed out early. I need to like actually make myself a pass out early script because I only have sleep early, which is never accurate. It's always that I pass the F out because I'm just like so exhausted and that just like feels like more accurate phrasing to me so I need to make myself a script of that so Saturday I slept forever that is my own script again I need to make a smaller version um and that is a bunny from some little things I didn't use nearly enough some little things stickers in the spread usually I lose use a lot more I was super tired I was just trying to use the script so that's why the layering is not great there over the munchkin but again I'm just trying to use up all the other scripts that I have before I can transfer to my own and like get the sizing and figured out i'm getting better at it um that i binged youtube okay so i did actually have more youtube binge stickers i think i may have just wanted to throw in one of my own or like i had them on a border or something i don't know who knows did that i've also been incorporating a lot more dividers in the spread and i think you can see them peppered throughout and they're so cool i really love dividers i need to like make a point of using them more i swear i'm like so bad at it but i love them um, like, I've bought so many. You've seen in my $2 Tuesday hauls. Like, I bought a million dividers. I just, I need to use them. Alright, I called my grandma that day. There's another Magic Prince Co. phone icon. I really love those icons. I mean, I could probably just make them my own now, but I would have to, like, find the clip art for those icons or something. And, I don't know. I haven't really started looking for clip art yet, but I have the ability to. I'm just really focusing on scripts right now with my own foiling. So I watched more Legend of Korra. I think this is the last day, so I finished it on this day. And I know I said when I finished uh, Avatar or Korra, I was going to use my like Avatar-adjacent kit from Hazel Sticker with the koi fish. But I forgot. I always forget. So I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to like watch more Avatar another day because I have more Avatar scripts. I'm going to watch more Avatar and then use it then. going to make a point of it. Like It's still going to be accurate, hopefully. So last day of doing Korra... Um, had another headache. See, there's another sticker from some little things. Um, and then I had a stomachache too. That's a paper shire sticker. Again, where has paper shire been this whole spread except for that flat lay? I have so many paper shire stickers and I just got a whole bunch more that I'm about to haul for you. Um, had a nap. That's a whimsical cat studio. Kitty cat. Taking a little nap there. 
I need more smaller nap stickers. And then I finished reading Angels and Demons. I hunted through like all my Creating Co kits for this finished reading sticker that I knew was on an add-on that she had only done briefly. She only had this finished reading blank sticker, like very briefly, as an add-on for some, like, I think subscription kits so I knew I had like maybe three kits that had that add-on and I needed to find one of them with the color scheme that kind of matched so I finally did and I was so happy um so I finished reading Angels and Demons and then I had pink I ordered Denny's pancakes in which is always like a special treat for me because I freaking love pancakes from like Denny's and I hop and whatever love them so I ordered those um scraped from Planet Hannah and then I had more Happy Mail this is more washy Happy Mail so this one I think was Simply Gilded I don't remember where the sticker is from um, and then I did a new Max, new, new Max Welch, new Wax Melt. I don't think I'll ever be able to say that properly the first try, but I put in a new scent, um, and that's a really adorable Paper Shire sticker for that. I had Chocolate Russians that evening, um, that's a Hazel sticker, like, a drink for that. And then I watched the horror movie of Veronica, I think it's a Spanish language one from maybe Spain, um, but yeah, I watched it with subtitles, because I heard it was super scary, it was not that scary. I feel like... I feel like it's hit or miss with me whenever somebody says something is super scary like to me like i i heard that midsummer was super scary i watched it i agreed i freaking love midsummer it takes a lot for me to like a scary movie these days because i'm so desensitized but i freaking love midsummer let me tell you like i thought about that movie for ages after i watched it and i still do and that's like how it was recommended to me was that like i read a post where somebody said oh you'll think about it forever yes i did go watch it um it's, it's creepy as f um but yeah veronica was not and that sticker is from happy day i'm a whole day behind so let me speed through sunday i weighed anastasia she was 431 grams i actually just weighed her today in real life she is 674 so she is getting plump but she's still small she's only a ball python so she's not gonna get that big um and then i started parks and rec that was the next show i watched and i finally have the parks and rec kit i need to haul it like right after this um so i can like mark when i finish that and if I can remember. <laughs> and then I organized my stickers. I didn't bring out any scripts or stickers for this at all. I forgot. But I end up using one from Sweet of His Paper. Binged YouTube. Again, that's my own script. Uh, cleaned Anna's room. I always clean her and weigh her on the same days. And that icon is from the kid, actually. Called my parents again. Like I said, 10 million phone calls this week. That phone sticker is from Little Paper, or Little's Planner. And then I uh, went through some sticker shops and made some wish lists. I love doing that. Even though it makes me want to buy everything all at once and I can't afford it. That's another dog from Creating Co. And then I edited a haul that day. There's some more mixing and matching scripts, which I hate, but gotta do it for now. Um, and those icons are from Roy Sweet Addictions. I plan the next week using up my Squirrel Prince Co. scripts that are too small. And then that's a Fox and Pip stack of like planners and stuff. And then at night at the Museum 3 with this T Rex skeleton, which I feel like was. Um, drawn for that sheet specifically to reference Science Museum, which I think is so fun. I feel like, it, it, I know it isn't, but I feel like it is. It's just so appropriate. Okay, so that is that. Um, just real quick note, I said I was going to talk about Creating Co., so I will. I um, joined her, well, I got selected for her like PR list. It's not like a PR team um, but a list, so how it works is that she's going to like pick a package of like new releases and stuff, and send it out to a few people on that list, like, every now and then, so I feel like my odds of getting something are probably, like, once a year, and I'm like, that's fine with me, that's super low stress, like, that's probably about the PR stuff that I want to, like, handle, I just think it would be really fun, because I love her shop, I have so many creating co kits, I'm a huge book nerd, I had a book blog for, like, five years or whatever, um, before I got into planning, I still read, like, a ton, as you can see from my spreads, like, that shop is really just perfect for me to be part of a PR team or PR list for, so I'm super excited to be on board with that and super excited to see what I get, and whatever I get, I'm gonna, like, make a real effort to use, because, like, I want to support this shop, um, and she just had a new character come into her shop whose name is Booksy, and he's the cutest book I've ever seen, so just a little, little extra PR there for ya, but yeah, so that's my spread. I like the way it turned out. I like the foil overlays I was able to use. I think they're kind of on the subtler side, and I think that works with this photo kit. I like um, the quotes that I chose to use and the boxes that I chose to use them over. I think that worked out pretty well. Not too pleased with the bond washi situation because I did decide to use the weekend banner, even though normally I feel like I wouldn't like double up on the foil scripts 
in, in the bottom, but it is what it is, and, like, they didn't, like, the overlays didn't quite fit on the bottom washi, and I, like, had to trim the bottom washi anyway, so it was kind of a whole mess, but, like, I'm kind of used to sizing issues with BNR paper crafts, like, the full boxes were, like, way the wrong size last time I used a kit, and here they were still a little bit, like, not quite the right size, but, like, I don't know, they're really good photo kits, and I have so many, and I make them work, like, I make them work, so that's why some things look kind of funnily sized in this kit, but, like, that's fine, like, I can barely tell, it's, it looks good as a spread on the whole, so I'm really pleased with that, and just the random gold foil scattered throughout is kind of fun, so that is it, and for the deco at the top, I just kind of did random deco whatever I had lying around, um, so yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be wonderful. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.